Welcome to 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. I'm your host, John J. Ransom Futrell. Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you for uh, actually downloading the podcast. Um, this is actually my first podcast. I plan for it not to be my last, but, you know, you never know. Life circumstances happen. Um, basically, 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. is pretty much the hours of the day that I work. Um, sometimes I work the entire time. Sometimes I don't. Uh, this podcast will actually be dedicated to the mindset of ambition, trying to do better in life, and living your dreams. Uh, that's the whole purpose for this. Um, the idea literally came to me at 5 a.m., hence the title. And plus, it's a play off the typical 9 to 5 uh, job. Um, basically, who am I? Um, I happen to be a four time published author. Um, my first two books uh, published under a smaller print. Um, and then my last two books published independently and my next books will be published independently as well. I happen to also be a music producer, songwriter, poet, um, rapper, graphic artist, video editor, and a whole bunch of other things. Um, but the reason for this podcast, like I said, it's about living your dreams. It's about ambition. Um, this is my way of giving back. You know, often at times, especially when you work for yourself. Because I also own a uh, media and promotions company or co-own a media and promotions company. Um, we get so caught up with trying to make money to make ends meet or survive. We often forget to give back and to give to other people and to help motivate other people to get on their own path or to pursue whatever it is that their dreams are about. So that's the point of this podcast. I really wanted to give people a part of me that I really try not to put out there like that. Uh, my philosophies, my thoughts. Um, just the way I see life. Um, if it touches one person, I'm cool with that. If it touches a hundred or a thousand people, you know, I'm even more cool with that. You know, either way, if you know this podcast touches you, or any of my podcasts touch you, or any of my work touches you, just share it with other people. Um, and it's not about, like I said, it's not about money. It's about sharing and helping other people to pursue their dreams and give them courage. Because not everyone has courage to take the route of pursuing their dreams or beyond pursuing their dreams. What this particular podcast is about, this first one, is about living your dreams versus chasing your dreams. And what I mean by that is that we often hear chase your dreams, go after, you know, whatever it is you believe in, you know, attain, you know, attain your goals. Um, but I want to say that, you know, I've learned within these last couple of years, particularly this year, that that pro although that thought process is true, we can do better than that. We should actually be living our dreams rather than chasing them. Because when you're living your dreams, that means every day you're actively pursuing them, which means it's not really a chase. Although whatever it is that you're dreaming of doing or whatever it is that you're passionate about may not be in your immediate grasp at the moment. You have the power within yourself to go chase that dream and go get it. However, when you're living that dream, that means it's not about the chase because you're already living that dream. If you understand what I'm saying. So for this first show, I just want to say this. If you are passionate about something, if you love it, if you cannot stop thinking about it, if it's the thing that brings you joy, it's the thing that makes you smile and you're not doing that you need to reevaluate your life I understand we all have bills we all have you know other responsibilities but if you're truly passionate about something you won't be afraid to put that extra hour in you won't be afraid to sacrifice the little things you won't be afraid to say no I'm not going out to party no I'm not going to spend extra money on that new shirt, them new sneakers, that new dress or whatever it is, you know, materialistically that you want because you're willing to pursue your passion. Because at the end of the day, if you're pursuing your passion and you're, and you're happy with that, everything else will come to you. It's really about how you view your life and the type of discipline that you allow yourself to have. You know, when you chase your dreams, we often look at it as, you know, taking steps up the ladder um, and then the dream will be attained at the correct timing that's actually pretty false 
And the reason I'm saying that's false is because there's no such thing as perfect timing. You never know when that time is if you don't actively work. When I mean work, I mean work. Like 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. isn't just, you know, just this clever thing that I came up with. I mean, to you, it may not be clever, but either way, like 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. is really my life. And sometimes it goes beyond 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. Sometimes it goes from 7 to 7. Sometimes it goes from, you know, 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. the next morning. But that's because that's how passionate I am about my work. Because, you know, if I was not passionate about my work, there would be no way I can have that type of energy and that type of enthusiasm to keep going. So what I want to say is whatever it is that you're whatever it is you're passionate about. Please do me a favor, do you a favor, do the world a favor and pursue that with all your might. Find a way to do it. Do not let people tell you that you cannot do it. And I'll cover that in later uh, podcast. But for this for for this first podcast, that's just what I really want to get off my chest. That's why I really want to tell you people pursue your passion, pursue your love. Pursue it with all your might. Stop chasing and live. I'm going to say it again. Stop chasing and live your dreams. The only person that can stop you really is you. Whatever your belief system is, you know, that's not my concern. Because that's none of my business. However, what I can say is this. If you truly believe, if you truly feel deep within your heart that something Is not correct with your life because you're not pursuing your passion. Find a way to pursue your passion. 15 minutes a day goes a long way. And eventually that 15 minutes becomes 30 minutes and then so on and so on. Everyone's not going to be like me. I don't expect that. I don't expect people to, you know, go with my philosophy on life or how I pursue my life at all. Because I'm not perfect and none of us are. But I made a decision three years ago. That rather than working for someone else, I wanted to work for myself. And that's not knocking working for anyone else. I say that to say this. The reason I don't work for anyone else is because my job is my passion. That's what gets my time. That's what wakes me up every day. That's what keeps me up. So if you feel that way, pursue your passion. Stop chasing your dreams and live them. Once again, this is John J. Ransom Futrell. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for downloading the podcast. And I'll see you next time. Peace and love.